Hello everyone. I have been noticing that recently a number of makeup companies have been releasing blush colors that are much more purple than anything that I have seen in the past. And I am interested in that because I am a big fan of purple in general and because I feel like even though purple is not necessarily the best shade for my skin tone, nonetheless that I have been able to make certain shades of purple work for me in terms of clothing and also in terms of eyeshadow. So I'm wondering if there might be certain shades of blush that might work for me that are on the purple side as well. So what I thought I would do for this video is to try on a few shades of blush that are more on the light side, so more on the lilac or lavender side, uh, to see how those work. So I picked up the new lavender blush from uh, Glossier Cloud Paints and also the new one from Honest Beauty uh, in their cream blush, so we'll see how those work for me. I'll also be trying on a few other uh, purplish colors of blush, and I will be trying on a few other new shades from both Honest Beauty and from Glossier. So we'll see how all of those work for me in this video. So what I have found is that it looks to me like the new shades from both NARS and from Honest Beauty and from Glossier are pretty similar to one another. So this is the one from Honest Beauty and it is called Lush Lilac. And I think that Honest Beauty is one of the best brands on the market, despite not being very expensive. This is a brand that Meghan Markle wore for her wedding day, and I can see why she chose that one, because this is a product that lasts much longer on the skin than other blush, so it, it goes on a little bit stiffer and you need to spend a little bit more time warming it up and brushing it in. But once it goes on, it will stay uh, pretty much all day for me, regardless of how much I'm sweating or under a lot of pressure. And so I can, I, I am a big fan of this brand and I have all of the other colors of blush, but I think that this one is uh, the most interesting shade that I've seen so far. So I'm looking forward to trying this on on camera. In addition, I'm a big fan of the Glossier Cloud Paints. So the thing that I think is really great about these blush is that regardless of what color I have picked out, and they have a whole bunch of them, I can make them go on so sheer and so kind of transparent that I can wear uh, shades that I typically don't do very well with. So I'm wondering if I'll be able to do that with this lavender shade as well. And then the NARS blush is a part of the line of the Afterglow blush. So this is brand new from NARS, and they have released six different shades. Uh, five of them were pretty conventional type shades. And then they released this uh, lilac color, which is, uh, really caught my eye because it was so much different than the other colors that are on the marketplace. So I did try all six of the shades on my last visit to Sephora. I did like the lilac one, but I felt like I needed to experiment a little bit more with the uh, lilac blush that I already had rather than uh, picking out a new one to purchase right away. I'm really very fond of the the Dolce Vita, the, the, uh, it's kind of a dusty rose in this color. And this uh, Orgasm one, this has been okay for me also. A few more lavender blushes that I have seen on the marketplace recently. House Labs has a new powder blush that is called Lavender Blonde. So all of House Labs blushes are very bright and to the extent that even the colors that I can use well, like a, a peach color, uh, turned out to be very, very bright for me and so that I have to use it like with a fan brush. So I'm a little bit afraid of this bright purple blush, but when it comes to Sephora, I'm gonna go in and take a look at it. I haven't seen it in the store yet. Uh, Tower 28 also has a new uh, purple blush that is called Party Hour, and that is described as a sun-kissed lavender pink. That looks very bright to me, and it also looks kind of on the highly saturated side, so I'm wondering if that might be more suitable for um, darker skin tones than uh, my skin tone, but next time I go to Sephora, if they have that there, I will take a look at that. There's also a brand that's called Colfi, which I think is a South Asian brand, and they have a whole new line of soft blush uh, colors. And one of those is a shade that is called Lucky Lotus, which is described as a bright, juicy purple. And that is a kind of a clean beauty brand also. So those ingredients look like they would be okay for me. And the other ones that I've mentioned so far, I'm sure would be okay for me because I've tried all of those products. I also found a couple of other purple blush products that based on the ingredient lists, 
I would consider trying. One is the Airy Perez Carrot Color Pot in the shade Hay, which is described as a lollipop lilac. The other is the M Cosmetics Color Drop Serum Blush in the shade Little Lilac. And then there have been uh, quite a few other uh, purple colors or lilac or lavender colors that I have seen from other brands that I'm not sure would be the best ones for me, but that uh, do suggest that this really is a trend that's uh, becoming pretty widespread. So I'm still not sure if lavender or lilac or purple colors are really going to be right for me in general. I feel like for in general that my skin tends to be what's sometimes called a soft autumn and therefore that my skin is somewhat on the warm side, sort of like on the peachy side, and then it also is kind of on the low contrast side. And so certainly what I have found is that when it's come to purple colors that have a lot of saturation to them, whether they be plum or a dark purple or a uh, blue-red lipstick, but those tend to not look all that natural on me. But I do find it interesting to uh, try on some new kinds of shades, so if I can make this work for me, then I would like to do that. I'm just not sure how well it's going to work. So I thought that I would mention that from what I can tell, the whole purple blush trend seems to be stemming from a, a, a trend on maybe TikTok or other social media that suggests that for people that have skin that's quite a bit darker and quite a bit more yellow than mine, that a purple blush can read as a bright pop of pink. So that for those people uh, actually using pink uh, blush does not really look that great on them, but if you add a purple color to that, that that can really uh, look uh, very bright and bring a lot of life to the face. And so it's not really necessarily made for people with other skin tones. I also do think that for certain people that have very cool skin and maybe very fair skin, that I'll uh, a lavender type blush might look very natural, but that for a skin tone like mine, which is somewhat uh, on the a light side rather than super fair, and that's slightly on the uh, peach side, but not really yellow, that this is a little bit more difficult, which doesn't mean that we can't make it work, just that it's not necessarily uh, natural. Another reason that I think that uh, the lavender blush may have become popular recently is because there was a song that was released in the end of 2022 from uh, Taylor Swift, which is called Lavender Haze. And the song was based on uh, the concept from the 1950s that the lavender haze is what you experience when you're first in love and uh, feeling really happy about it. And that she got that from an episode of Mad Men. And I'm a big fan of Mad Men in general, and I think that this is all, all very romantic, and I also like this color, so I, I kind of feel uh, emotionally drawn to this, uh, uh, to at least seeing if I can make these, these interesting colors work for me. So one thing that I think is the case about lavender or lilac blush is that it's a little bit like a contour shade. So even though it's purple, it also seems to have a little bit of like a grayishness to it and therefore that it's really a not acting the way that a blush necessarily would and that therefore that maybe what I should be doing is to put a lot of emphasis on my eyes and maybe a little bit on my lips and to have my uh, cheeks be less emphasized but still coordinate with the look. So for this particular video, what I thought that I would try is to get out my uh, Pat McGrath Mothership 10 palette and uh, to try this on. So I'll show you these colors uh, because I thought that this would uh, add a nice emphasis to my eyes that might, um, that might coordinate with this blush. So here's the colors from this palette. So you can see that a lot of those are kind of on the, the lavender or cool pink sides. So the ones that I used for this look, I used this one here, which is pretty on the lavender side. And then for the corners of my eyes, the outside, to give my eyes a little bit of dimension, I used this kind of grayish purple color. And then uh, for a little bit of sparkle on the top, I used this color here. So I think that these have been a uh, very, uh, colors that I can wear on my eyes. They're, they're a little bit, uh, 
more dramatic than the ones that I would usually wear, but at least I don't feel like they look uh, really bad on my eyes, and I feel like they're kind of moving in the direction of this lavender color, so that when I add the blush on my cheeks that it won't look totally foreign. In addition, because I felt like my skin looked a little bit pale, I put on a little bit of uh, the yellow powder from Jones Road. So I thought that if uh, purple colors looked good on yellowish skin, that I would cheat a little bit by adding a little bit of yellowish color to my skin. And on my lips, I have a color from Lisa Eldridge, which is called a New Wave. So this is a color of blush, of a lipstick that is quite a purplish color. And then I just put on a tiny bit just using my fingers. Uh, so I feel like, I feel like even though this is quite a, a purplish shade and it kind of reminds me of the 1980s, it's still one that uh, pretty much anyone can wear. So again, here is the shade of blush from Honest Beauty, which is called Lush Lilac. And I put some of this on the back of my hand. So I will just start working from that to start out with because it's, uh, yeah, I want it to be warmed up a little bit. So I'll just put on a small amount on one side of my face. And I feel like the, the Honest Beauty and the Glossier uh, versions are close enough that I can just use one on one side of my face and the other one on the other side of my face rather than having to redo my makeup again. So let's just put a little bit of this on and then I will kind of buff it in with this uh, Say brush. And then I'll, I'll put on a little bit of the Glossier one and then maybe I'll go back in and build it up a little bit. Somehow it seems to be a little bit more highly pigmented than some of the other uh, cloud paints. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I, if I don't use this really, really lightly, it can kind of get overdone really fast. So I have to just put on a tiny little bit and then buff it in really quickly because otherwise my skin can get kind of out of control. So that seems like it, it actually ended up with a lot more blush on than the honest blush side. Here's what that looks like on my hand, by the way. So they're pretty similar colors. And you can see that if they were a little more pink, then they would be moving towards sort of a bright uh, daisy color pink. So there, that's another shade that's on the, that is on the market right now. There's been a lot of colors of, of pink that are, that are very, very cool, but not quite as purple as this. But it's, it's right on the border in a lot of cases. So I feel like the Glossier, even though that went on quite bright, uh, that very, very quickly it kind of sunk into the skin. So let's try a little bit more on the, of the Honest Beauty one. And just add a little bit more and see how that looks. And then I will again brush in both sides. And I kind of feel like in, that this is really not looking like it's bright purple to me. It's more just looking like a kind of a cool pink. Part of that may be because I prepared my face by adding the eyeshadow and the right lipstick. And I have on a shirt that's on the lilac side. So I put a little bit of effort into making my face work with this purple blush. But I think it's uh, actually kind of pretty and I'm, I'm kind of liking the way it's looking. And just for fun, I'll just add a little bit more just to see if I can build up the color a little bit just to see if it looks okay when I do that. So I am a big fan of Lisa Eldridge in general, and there is not one product of hers that I have tried that I'm not a big fan of. But I will issue a, a little bit of warning about both the True Velvet 
and the intensely saturated lipsticks. And that these are lipsticks that do tend to be quite on the fragile side and they can break pretty easily. So this one, especially because it has so much uh, purple pigment in it or just pigment in general, it uh, broke without my even like pressing on it. So I was very, very gentle and I don't even know how it broke, but it's just that one day I opened it up and it was just broken. So I still can use it because I'm using it very, very gently, but I do think that it's important to know that these do have a tendency to break, and I would continue to use them just with the lip brush or, or just with my finger because I don't think that, uh, I don't think that you need to put them on uh, really in a, uh, a thick way, at least for me, in order for them to be attractive. So I'll put a little bit more of this on just to show you what it's like when it's a little bit more built up. And in that case, the blush looks like it's uh, not very bright at all once I put on a little bit more bright lipstick. And then I thought what I would do is put on a little bit of highlighter to go with this. So I have this new highlighter that I just got very recently from Westman Atelier. This is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter in the shade Peau de Rosé. So I thought this would be on the pink side and that maybe this would go well with the, uh, the purplish colors of uh, blush and the rest of my makeup. So I'll just put a little bit of this on uh, really high up here and maybe continuing through to my eye eyes. So I thought that what I would do next is to look at a few shades of purplish colors that are much more conventional in terms of they're looking a little bit more like a burgundy or a plum, and then to try those on my face uh, in comparison to the uh, lavender colors to see if there's any big difference. So what I have on my hand right now uh, are three shades from uh, Merit Beauty. So I tend not to buy a lot of colors that have this purplish color to them, but I, I seem to collect a lot of stuff from Merit. And so what I have here at the top is the Merit lipstick in the shade Fashion. In the middle is the shade uh, Raspberry Beret in the Flush Balm. And then at the bottom is their new shade, which is called a Prey, which is also in the Flush Balm. So I feel like uh, these colors are very much in the same color family. I'm not even sure why they need to have two different colors of Flush Balm. These look pretty similar to me. But let's try the shade Raspberry Beret on my face uh, to see how that looks and on one side. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to put just a tiny little bit of this Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the shade New Wave because that is a little bit more purple than what I usually use. And it's working well on my lips, so I'm wondering how that would look on my face. So this is the Merit shade of Raspberry Beret. So let's just try to blend that in a little bit. And the thing that I like about these flush balms, they do go on extremely easily. I don't really need to uh, blend them in with a, a brush. I'll, I'll, I'll blend them in a little bit, but I, I feel like they, uh, as blush goes, this is one that I can really wear without any problems, regardless, regardless of what color it is. And then here's that Lisa Eldridge lipstick again. So it's, it's quite purple. Uh, it's not as purple as the the blush that I picked out from Honest or Glossier, but I do think that it's, it's quite on the purple side. It's a kind of um, a uh, future color, so that may be going a little bit too far, but let's just try to bump it in a little bit and see if we can make it work. And at least it does match the lipstick, so that uh, helps it to look like it's a little bit more acceptable in terms of the color. So I'm wondering if you like these colors better than the ones uh, with the lavender blush or if you like the lavender ones better. And let's try a little bit more of this Merit version. So again, this is Raspberry Beret. And I'm looking a little bit overly blushed right now, but I'm hoping that this would blend in pretty easily 
or disappear pretty quickly as the day goes on. So certainly I'm not a professional makeup artist and I'm sure that there's many people that could do much better with these products than I am doing. But I do kind of feel like if I put a little bit of thought into uh, how to use these products and to prepare my face for them, that they're looking kind of fine. I kind of like the way that they look and I feel like I look a little bit different than usual but still uh, perfectly fine and like I would be happy to go out. Uh, on the town uh, looking the way that I am now. So I'm happy that I can use some of these colors. So now I think what I will do is go and take off all of this makeup and start over and then I will try out some of these other Honest and Glossier shades just to see what they look like on my face in comparison. So I left on my eye makeup but I took off all of the makeup from my cheeks with my beloved Lisa Eldridge cleanser and I put on just a little bit of Tom Ford concealer and some of the light uh, face powder from uh, Jones Road. So now I'm going to try on the two new shades of the uh, Honest Beauty uh, blush. So the first one is called Cotton Candy. So it is kind of a pink, uh, but it's on quite a cool pink. So it's kind of on the purple side, but you can see that it's quite a bit different than the uh, than the uh, Lush Lilac version that I tried on before. So even though it looks kind of purple here, it's really not nearly as purple as the other shade. And then I also have one that is in the color Fire Coral. So it's uh, much more of a color that I'm used to wearing. And even though it's bright, I think I can probably pull this one off pretty easily. So let's try on this cotton candy version to start out with. So I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand to warm it up a little bit. And then I will dab it quite gently on my face to start out with so it doesn't overdo it uh, right away. And this does not seem nearly as bright as the other one. It, I don't feel like I have the potential of going overboard with it nearly as fast because it's much more similar to the natural skin tone that I have. So let's try on the other shade now. This is again called Fire Coral. So we'll just try a little bit of this on to start and then kind of rub that in. And that looks like a very natural shade of blush for me. And let's put in a little bit more of that pink color. So I would say that both of these are colors that are much closer to ones that I would wear on a daily basis and that these have looked uh, much better for me so far uh, without my having to put any effort into it at all. So I guess that my conclusion from this is that if you want to have your makeup be really easy and not to spend very much time on it and to feel confident that it's going to look okay, then probably you want to pick colors that you know are well suited to you. If you want to pick colors that are, are not very well suited to you, then you still may be able to make it work, but it just may take a little bit more effort. But in general, I still think that Honest Makeup is one of the best blush brands and that especially for the price, but really for any price, that I feel very comfortable with this brand and it's one that I feel confident uh, recommending to a really wide range of people because I think it, it performs very, very well and it looks really pretty. And then just to show you a shade of the lipstick, I thought that I would uh, put on a little bit of the Lisa Eldridge Sorcery uh, this is their lip gloss, so let's put this on. And I just kind of feel that anything from Lisa Eldridge looks uh, really nice regardless of the circumstances, so I just look for excuses to show them off. So 
So I thought that what I would do is swatch all of the colors of the Honest Beauty blushes on my arm so that you can see the differences between the shades. The first ones that I'll swatch are the warmer ones. So the top is called uh, Rose Pink, then there is Peony Pink, then there is Coral Peach, and at the bottom there is Fire Coral. And then on this arm at the top we have Cotton Candy, then we have Lush Lilac, and at the bottom we have Plumberry. And now I will just take off uh, this blush again in lipstick and so that I can show you the shade of Glossier that is new. So I have one more shade of Glossier that is new, and this is the shade Soar. So this is a, a kind of a bright rose color, so I'll put a little bit of this on my hand and show it to you. So it looks like this, and this is another color that I think I feel pretty comfortable wearing. So I'll just dot on a very small amount of it to start and then see how it's looking. So it's quite bright, but as I say, uh, Glossier Cloud Paints uh, sheer out really, really easily. So I'm not too worried that I'm going to be able, going overboard with this and not be able to fix it easily. So we'll let this sink in for a few seconds. I thought that even though I don't have the lilac shade of the NARS blush, that I would try on the shade that I do have, which is the orgasm shade, so that you can see how it works. And usually for this one, I just dot it right on my cheeks rather than putting it on my hands first. It's fairly, um, fairly, tra fairly translucent, so I don't usually have a problem with it looking too bright. And you know, this orgasm shade is supposed to be a peachy pink with a shimmer in it. I feel that it doesn't really look as vibrant as the um, Dolce Vita shade that I really liked when I tried it in the store. Let's try blending that in a little bit. So I don't think it looks bad on my skin tone. I just i am not sure it was the best choice for me. And even though that Glossier Cloud Paint looked really bright when I first put it on, it disappeared almost immediately. So I think we need to put a little bit more on. That's the one thing about that Honest Blush is that it really doesn't disappear nearly as easily as many of these other blushes. So I'll just let that sit for a few moments. This looks like a very natural color to me. I might put on a little bit more. I'm thinking that I would I will put on another intensely saturated color from Lisa Eldridge. This one is called Sunday Matinee. So it can look very uh, muted and, and uh, kind of um, ordinary, but it's a little bit deceptive because in the undertone there's a little bit of a kind of a fluorescent pink. So sometimes when I go outside I'm like, wow, that looks really bright. So we'll see how it looks in this light, which is pretty much all natural light except for I have one little uh, ring light. So fortunately this one is not broken yet, so I can use it fairly easily. But I think that's a really pretty color, and I think it goes well with both of these blush colors. But I have to warn you, it can sometimes pack a punch in terms of the color, which makes it interesting. I kind of like wearing it for that reason. So I think rather than adding more of the blush, which I could do and which you could do, I think I will add a little bit of this uh, super loaded tinted highlighter, and this one is in the color Potus uh, Santé which is a color that's available just on the Goop website and on the uh, Westman Atelier website. So this is a peachy pink with a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I feel like it should go fairly well with this rose pink. So we'll just add a little bit on top, just to add a little bit of dimension to the look. So I would be interested in knowing uh, what you think of these colors, and in particular the, the purple colors, whether or not you think that the purple colors look good on me or that they have the potential of being worn on occasion, or if you think that I would do better just to abandon them and use other colors, whether they're purple colors that have worked for you, and if so, what your skin tone is and uh, which shades of purple you have liked. 
Thanks very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Coco and I love you very much. Goodbye.